Sanji, Sanji. So in uh, in in India, astronomy is far more older than in Europe. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, this is uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is ancient astrology, Vedic astrology, just discovered two thousand three thousand years before Christ. After taking out your particular zodiac, they try to read on zodiac also. If it's of that. So here we have got different kind of uh, different zodiac like uh, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, etc. Et and they have idols uh, according to the uh, uh, the movement of uh, to read the movement of sun on on the zodiac. So uh, these are the instruments over here. So you can what I would request you is for t uh, five minutes you can uh, go and see your zodiac. Yes, sorry. Right, and then we meet at the corner. There are two instruments. Uh, one is on the uh, one is to my left hand side, and second is to the northern side. Now these instruments, <coughs> these instruments are complementary to each other, and they have got 360 degrees. And there are uh, six parts, five parts here, and the sixth part is on the top. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is the corner. Uh, similarly, here we have the same kind of thing. And this six parts are zodiac, and uh, we can see the movement of various kinds of planets. If you want to create horoscopes, you know horoscopes you require date of birth, time, etc., etc. If you have anybody born in Jaipur, and if you know the correct timings, so they can easily calculate horoscopes from here. We have to see. Uh, the shadow of the ring. So this this instrument is not working right now because the shadow of the ring would put out the particular zodiac when when you were born, and it can easily be calculated. So right now, the sun, uh, shadow. Can you see the shadow of the ring over there? This instrument is working. Ah yes. yes. So yeah. because the position. Also. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not, not position. Because of the zodiac and all. The, uh, see, I'll tell you, the, the, this is the whole uh, thing is Earth, and uh, that's the equator there, big, uh, thicker line, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the movement of different planets, different uh, wh wh uh, what you call is uh, um, uh, consolate, uh, consolate, what uh, and uh, houses, 
are depicted from here. And if you know how, how to uh, calculate, sorry, if you know the date of birth, if you're born in Jaipur, as I told you earlier, you can easily calculate it. The sun, for example, uh, you can eat. Uh, these all instruments work with the help of sun. If there's no sun, they wouldn't be working. Ma maximum of them. All right? So let's go further. Why is this one not working? For one hour this would work, for the next hour that would work. The southern hemisphere. Uh, sorry, northern hemisphere right now from here. And you, uh, you can calculate the plan uh, different movement of different planets. For horoscopes, etc., we have a different uh, monument altogether. And uh, please, please come. I'll show you the horoscope one. So, or you can call it a sort of a sundial. The sun for six months is in southern uh, hemisphere. And for six months, it is in the northern hemisphere. So, when you have cold weather in Australia, the northern hemisphere, that time England has got hot, sorry when you have hot weather in Australia, the sun is in the northern northern hemisphere and it's cold in the uh, in India and everywhere in Asia etc etc and it's uh, contrary to what you have in Australia. In Europe it is hot you have cold it's cold you have hot and the day is also accordingly accordingly good. So when the sun is in the southern hemisphere. This part wouldn't get the uh, sunlight, and when the sun is in the northern hemisphere, that uh, uh, yeah, other side wouldn't get uh, get sunlight. So it is, uh, and during the sun, uh, when the sun is in the northern hemisphere, it wouldn't get shaded. Uh, it, it was that way, and you can uh, you can also calculate the timing procedures over here. Uh, right now, this is not working because sun is in the northern hemisphere. So uh, that is working. We have to look at the shadow of this uh, rod coming out, and accordingly, this is divided into 360 degrees, and you have to calculate it. Come, let I'll show it to you over there. The sun is in the northern hemisphere. You can see the shade over here. And now you can calculate the position, uh, movement of the sun through this. Uh, uh, how far, uh, how the sun is moving, what elevation, etc., etc.